morning. I'm going to try something here today. Bear with me. Take you with me on my little ride to the shop, which is only a couple miles away. Um, try to save some time so when I get there I can just start working. It's my narrow driveway. I gotta push my mirror in so I don't whack things over there. People treat this driveway like it's their backyard. They put a lot of crap out here. <laughs> it's not good. Major incline here. And I gotta get out and push that mirror, so give me a second. The, the glamorous morning of a uh, burgeoning YouTuber. <laughs> Los Angeles. Los Angeles. City of Angels. I don't know about that. There's a little rubbing. That's nothing dangerous. There's that piece of plastic inside the wheel well. And with the bigger tire, it hits that. I keep meaning to tie it back with a zip tie. Been lazy. I got enough on my plate already. We're going to make a quick pit stop at mailbox because I'm about to mail this. This is what all my uh, envelopes look like when I send them to you guys with the stickers. I got a payment last night from a guy. Thank you, Miguel. He sent me 50 bucks for a sticker pack and I thought obviously this must be a mistake. This can't be right. And uh, I saw so I sent him an email. He said, no, man supports the channel and I'm thinking holy crap you know it made me think like maybe there is something to this patreon thing and that other people do I don't know that I'll do all that who the heck knows I don't know what I'm doing I'm winging it you know that and uh, let me see what's going on here LA with uh, traffic it's the thing it's the thing attention driving is more important than talking to this thing at the moment. Hang on. I'm going to stick this in the mailbox. <laughs> okay. I'm back. James Brown tune. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So I sent him an extra package. He got a shit ton of stickers, and I wrapped up the stickers in a uh, drawing that I did. Uh, you guys know that I've been getting the sticker packs. I've been, uh, I can't see if you can see me or not, so if this video doesn't turn out good, you won't be seeing it. <clears throat> if you are watching it, it turned out good enough for me. Because <laughs> I'm not a pro. Come on, lady. All right. <laughs> I keep a crucifix hanging from the rearview mirror to remind me to be a better person when I'm driving. So, uh, <laughs> no road rage on this video, I promise. So, uh, yeah, when I wrap up the stickers, I wrap them up in a piece of scrap paper, usually from some sketch I've done or some notes or something like that. I just think it's kind of fun. And on this one, I included my original sharpie drawing of the image that I scanned uh, for the sticker for the logo the Astro Van Tribe logo and in that I included uh, the notes I made for my graphic art gal uh, Debbie thank you so much for everything uh, for the coloring <clears throat> so he's getting a neat piece of art there uh, I figured it was worth it and uh, the clanking you hear when I go over the bumps is that collapsible toilet back there with the plywood in it and, and whatnot so nothing serious anyhow I'm rambling and uh, that's what's happening so the sticker packs are selling I'm kind of shocked it was my buddy he's got an Astro Astro Van Tribe sticker just drove by and I can't show it to you another pal of mine with an Astro Van here I, I was it was funny 
the other day I pulled in front of this guy's house, which was right around the corner. I meant to drive by just now because I know he has an Astro Van Tribe sticker on his van. I wanted to show that off and I forgot. <clears throat> Sorry, but another one just drove by. So I'm starting to see Astro Van stickers on vans <laughs> here in LA. Crazy. Uh, another guy contacted me yesterday who turns out he's in Venice. He has a white Astro Van all wheel drive and he does. And you know, I'm sorry, I, I don't pay attention to the names on the computer screen when I'm looking at stuff, because I'd like to give you props, uh, but I will at some point when you do the art, because I know you're going to do it. This guy takes his van and he does this crazy stuff where he'll put it in different landscapes and whatnot. I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing. He put, my favorite one is he put his van on like another planet, you know, with like a galaxy and shit flying around spaceships and stuff it's freaking badass so i can't wait to see what he does with mine <laughs> and he did one for another astro van person the other day too and she posted her picture up and it was just so cool so this astro van tribe thing it's no joke it is no joke man i talk at the top of my throat <clears> and <throat> when i listen to myself talk for years i felt like i sounded like joe pesci <laughs> Nothing wrong with Joe Pesci. Everybody back home, where I come from, knows Joe Pesci. <laughs> They've had some kind of personal interaction with him. I dated a girl whose parents, when they got married, Joe Pesci went to their wedding. <laughs> it's like a Joe Pesci. It's like Bruce Springsteen. Freaking all over the place. I'm all over the place. Did not get another good night's sleep because of this friggin' bird where I live. Mockingbird. Remember to kill a mockingbird? I know why people wanted to kill a mockingbird. I never understood the name of that friggin' book. <laughs> Does it actually have anything to do with a bird? I don't know. Funny story though, good LA story for you. When I first moved, when I was, uh, before I came out here, the summer before I came out here, I had to kind of get lost. It's a whole other story. And I went up to Pennsylvania where my dad lived up in the Poconos and I got a job working at a biker bar. And then I got another job at another bar. It was a restaurant bar. It was an upscale joint. Down the road from there was a theater. So they had Summer Stock Theater. And all these actors from <clears throat> a lot of 70s TV shows. Loretta Swift from MASH. Gary Sandy from WKRP in Cincinnati. Uh, Ted Lange from The Love Boat. I mean, I met all these people as a bartender. And everybody was telling me, like, what are you doing here? You don't belong here. You should be out in L.A. You know, you should get an act in yourself, blah, blah, blah. And I've heard that crap my whole life, but I never really cared about it. I met this guy, Patrick Michler. He gives me his number, and he said, he was doing Driving Miss Daisy. And he gives me his number, and he says, hey, man, uh, you get to L.A., look me up. And I had to move on. I had to go through this thing where I had to lose myself. I had to get lost. I had to disappear. <laughs> Nobody knew what happened to me for a long time. <laughs> it's a whole other story. So uh, I get to LA and I look this guy up. And I did get into the acting thing and I did get some work. I didn't like those people and I walked away from it. It's another story. But the first Christmas I was here, I go to this guy's house for a house party and it's all all these character actors and I don't remember the character's name but in To Kill a Mockingbird there was that black guy that was getting blamed for everything his name was Brock Peters the actor that portrayed him well Brock and I met that night and we kind of became pals I would see him around LA from time to time I remember one time I was with friends in a car on the on the highway in like dead stop traffic and there was Brock there's my gal that, her sister was on uh, Saturday Night Live. I, can, I can't forget it, remember her name right now. She, she walks by here all the time, and I did some furniture for her in her house. Man, I'm all over the place. LA's kooky like this. So anyhow, I'm at this party, <clears throat> and I meet Brock Peters. Come on, dude. Where are we going? And uh, I'm on a highway one day, and here's Brock Peters in his little brown convertible Mercedes, and I'm with friends. And I, and I go, hey, look at that guy. They go, oh, that's the guy from the... I'm like, yeah, that's Brock Peters. Like, oh, you don't know him. I'm like, Brock! He's like, Mike, what's going on? <laughs> that party was a crazy night. Um, it was interesting because that night... I don't know if you guys remember who Jane Wyman was. Jane Wyman, I think she was married to... 
Ronald Reagan at one time, Jane Weinman was kind of hammered, and she was talking to me, and she's very, she's an old lady at the time, still cute, she's talking to me, and she gives me a kiss right on the mouth, I kiss Jane Weinman, that'll have to be the name of this video, I want to show you what I did with the van here, look at this, look at this, it. It looks like a Taj Mahal in here, video man sorry <laughs> what going on so these I got at the 99 cent store for 9.99 yes you heard that right 99 cent store 9.99 each which is not cheap but they're exactly what I wanted they're 30 inches by 4 feet so I mean, that's cool. I could take this out, shake it out. It's got a rubber bottom. It'll keep things from sliding around. And, you know, I picked this up because <clears throat> it was a really nice brush. Dust pan isn't worth a crap, so this is going to go in the garbage. But the brush was nice. It's a nice, neat floor sweeper. Now I'm getting to work. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. I kiss Jane Weinman. Uh, bye.